Hello everyone, on today's video we are going to talk about Sakura Wars for the Sega Saturn and the latest English fan translation that was released only a few days ago at the time of this recording. We will also do a video tutorial on how to apply the English patch on this original Japanese game. So let's get into it. In September 27, 1996, Sega of Japan released Sakura Wars or Sakura Tyson for their Sega Saturn console. Created by Ohi Hiyori and co-developed by Red Entertainment, the game's allure comes from the mixture of tactical role-playing, dating simulation, and visual novel genres. For the Japanese video game market, those genres are very popular even to this day. Sega of Japan was able to catch lightning in a bottle with Sakura Wars that the franchise spanned for five games from 1996 to 2010. The series garnered sales over 4.5 million copies, making Sakura Wars as one of Sega's best game franchises. The game was so popular that it spread to other medias like OVAs, mangas, stage shows, CD albums, and light novels. In 2010, Red Entertainment along with Madhouse and Studio Matrix co-produced a 25-episode anime based on the first game. A Division was tasked to do the Western release as they did Neon Genesis Evangelion. The player takes the military and romantic exploits of Imperial Army Officer Ichiro Ogami in a fictionalized steampunk version of Tokyo, Japan during the Taisho period between 1923 to 1940. The capital is being infested by mysterious demonic forces that the government created mechanized units called Kobu to combat the threat. As one of the few men who can operate the machine, Ichiro has been tasked to join Tokyo's Imperial Assault Force, comprised of diverse women who are working undercover as a theater production group. Despite the raging success of Sakura Wars, the main games never reached the West. With their CD-based battle with Sony's PlayStation, Sega of America did a lackluster marketing campaign for the Sega Saturn that numerous games of the Saturn's library, including Sakura Wars, did not get English localization. Instead, they focused on other games that they thought the Western Generation X market demanded. We jumped over two decades later, a group of fans spearheaded a fan translation project of the first game. Noah's team, Matatabi, Ayan Nihen, Crouching Mouse, Mason VD27 to name a few, were able to release a working English translation patch in mid-December 2019. Now, Japanese Sega Saturn console owners can now enjoy Sakura Wars with its working patch. Non-Japanese Sega Saturn console owners can now enjoy Sakura Wars with this working patch. Of course, they will still need a Sudo Saturn cartridge, Action Replay cartridge, or a Rhea Phoebe ODE to play backup Saturn games. Okay, we shall begin by ripping the original Sega Saturn Sakura Wars. I got my copy from the time I went to the retro video game market in my previous video. As far as I know, it is also possible to apply the patch by using backup images of the game like ISO, bin, Q files. That being said, we don't want to get any complaints of piracy so we are doing this legit. Next we will use ISO Buster to open our game from our disk drive. You will see on the left panel the overall directory of the disk, CD, Session 1, Track 1, and Track 2. The right panel shows the folders within the directory, so highlight CD, then click on Extract CD Content, then click on Extract User Data, Tau, ISO, Image, Wave. I'm just using a trial copy here, so ignore that. Next, it will ask you where you want to save the ripped files. I'm gonna put mine under the folder Saturn. 
then it will begin extracting the files from the disk. This may take some time depending on how fast you are disk reader. Let's come back after a few minutes. Once the extracting reaches around 90%, a prompt will show saying there are unreadable sectors. Just click on replace with all zeros and then click on always apply selection then click selection you might see a red bar on the extracting process but thanks to what we did it should return to green and finish the extraction once that is done we will go to our destination folder in this case my Saturn folder you should see subfolders inside called CD session 1 and track 01 which is the ISO file and track 02 which is the WAV file. We will do the whole ripping process with the disk 2 of the game. Next we shall apply the English patch. So download the patch and extract the files anywhere you like on your device. The contents should have 7 files. Open the program Delta Patcher. A prompt will show up then click on the folder under original file and choose to open track 01 from our ripped folder so i am going to my saturn folder and look for my track 01 iso file from earlier Next, click on the folder under xdelta patch, open the patch file for disk 1. So let's go back to our folder where we extracted the English patch files. I have mine here on my desktop. Choose to open SW English disk 1 version 1 xdelta. There should be another button here on the prompt. If you cannot see it, just drag the lower side of the prompt and you will see Apply Patch. Then click on that. It will take seconds to apply the patch on our Track01 ISO file. Next, let's go back to our English Patch files and then copy the file SW English Disk1 version 1 Q and then put it inside the subfolder of our ripped disk 1 game so I'm going to my Saturn folder go inside CD and session 1 and then paste the Q file along with track 01 and track 02 we will do the whole patching process with disk 2 of the game Okay, at this point, we are ready to burn the files on a blank CD. You can go ahead to the burning process. This time, however, as a matter of preference, I will just rename my CD folder as Sakura Wars Disk 1 Patched. It will not change the contents inside. Everything is still in there. I shall do the same after I patch my disk too. Next, open your burning program. Mine is Power ISO. You can use other programs like Image Burn or Alcohol 120. Just click open and look for the SW English Disk 1 version 1 Q file from our ripped Disk 1 files. In this case, I am going to my Saturn folder, Sakura Wars Disk 1 Patched, Session 1, then click to open the Q file. You should see all of the overall contents of track 01 thanks to that Q file. Next we click on the burn button and then select the lowest burning speed your device can offer. Mine is 10x. After that click burn. Leave your device alone to do its thing for a while. Once the burning process is complete we can repeat the whole burning process for disk 2. We now go to our Sega Saturn console. We will just do a comparison to see the original game against our patched game. 
So I'm just gonna put my copy of Sakura Wars Disc 1 and see the first few minutes. So we see there the game text is in Japanese as expected. Now we will see if we did the whole thing correctly. So I got my burn copy of Sakura Wars Disc 1. Just a reminder, we will need an action replay or pseudo Saturn cartridge with our Saturn console. Without one, the console will not read burned CDs. That red thing sticking out like a sore thumb is my pseudo Saturn cartridge. The opening credits should be in English now, as you can see there. Let's just skip the intro. Now it says Sakura Wars in English. Let's just play around with the options. Okay, let's start the game. Episode 1, The Capital's Floral Assault Troop. Alright guys, there you have it. Everything should be in English by now. Before we end it here, I just want to check my burn copy of this too. We will know if we did it correctly once we see the opening credits in English. Okay, there you go. Let's start a new game and see what happens. So it gives us a warning saying that to start a new game we need disc 1. It is in Japanese so I'm guessing the translators did not bother translating this one. And that covers our video for the patching of the English translation of Sakura Wars. I would like to thank the translation team for doing such a marvelous job on doing this project and I would also like to thank uh, Mr. Uh, Sega Saturn Shiro and the Saturn Junkyard for assisting me with doing my own patching of the game. If my tutorial is a bit confusing to some of you guys, be sure to check their video tutorials as well. If this video somehow helps you with patching your own games then please leave a like link and subscribe to my channel and be sure to turn on that notification bell for upcoming content i will see you again next time bye bye